Welcome to this Monday morning coaching meditation. And I wanted to work on clearing obstacles to whatever it is you want to do. Because the interesting thing is we don't always know what those obstacles are, just that we've got them. And I use this quite often for people who are very visual um, and like to write lists. So if you're that person, this is absolutely ideal for you. And if not, still give it a go. I call it the post-it note exercise. And all you need to do is close your eyes to settle there where you are, to allow yourself the time and the space that you deserve to help you on your journey in this lifetime. Hmm. Just focus on your breathing. There's a Buddhist meditation where you focus on the breathing by counting on the intake of breath. And you count to 10. So let's just do it for five. Count to five on each in-breath. more time. That's right, very good. And that breathing exercise, along with many breathing exercises, is all about helping your unconscious mind to settle, sending messages back that all is well, so that your parasympathetic nervous system can settle down. That's right, very good. And in a moment, we're going to go into your head. Now, sometimes when I work with clients, I get them to imagine that their brain has different rooms to it. So I want you, with your eyes closed, just to imagine the space inside your head as being creating separate rooms. Now, one room might be where you store all your memories. Another room might be where you're actively doing things. But there's one room, which is your strategy room. And I don't know where it is. So I don't know whether it's the front of your head on the right, front of your head on the left or on the back or in the middle or wherever it is I want you to notice a strategy room and I want you to enter that room yes imagine you're in your side your head and that you can see the door to your strategy room and I want you to open the door and step through So wherever you are in your mind's eye, I want you to notice that there is a table and there are different colored post-it notes there. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down on your favorite color post-it note, all things that you want over the coming week, the coming month, or the coming quarter, whatever it is. So whatever you want, just write them and see yourself writing the words, every letter, printing it in capitals or not, joined up writing or not. And maybe you much prefer to do a drawing, whatever works for you. And this is your favorite things that you want the things that are going to help you be who you want to be. And as you're writing them, 
whatever they might be, I want you to think about not just things or your goals. I want you to think slightly differently, if you will. I'd like you to think about how you will be experiencing life. I very often talk about wanting to do more and more of what I love, less and less of what I don't. Maybe it's something like that for you. Maybe you're wanting to experience more social time or time with your family. Doesn't matter, put that down too. It's the way you experience your world. How is your world reflecting back to you that life is going better than you thought? And when you're writing these post-it notes, and there could be a lot, and that's okay, you carry on writing. What are you doing that is helping you in this way? And I want you to make a note of those too. All the habits that you do, all the behaviours, whatever that might be. The ones that are supporting you on your journey. And think about your thoughts. What sort of thoughts do you need that would make the difference? I can do this. I have everything I need. I know exactly what I need to do. I am good at what I do. Write those down, the thoughts that go through your head, the positive ones, the encouraging ones, the ones that are supporting you. That's right, very good. And now I'd like you to write down, how are you feeling in this new you? How would you like to feel in this new you? Contented? Successful? little can you know sort of happy with achieving something whatever the feeling is you may have fewer of these but that's okay put them down mm. and then i'd like you to write what's important to you about this what's important to you about achieving what you're going to achieve and write those down on a post-it note What I love about this exercise is that you may not know the answer to everything, but you might find that your unconscious mind's like, oh, we'll need some of this and we'll need some of that. So you may find you've got more post-it notes there than you've actually written. But it's all on a positive colour that's supporting you. And I just want you to look at that for the moment. Stand back and look at those post-it notes. Uh, there's a board on the wall. Do you want to put them on there? All of them. So you don't, you can, you'll be able to read some of them and you won't be able to read others. It's okay. And as you put them up, this is what you want to achieve in the coming weeks and months. Just putting them all up. Arguably, you could do this for the year. But just do it in the short term to start with until you're practiced. And then you can do this for the whole year, potentially. and Put them all up on the wall. And as you stand and look at that wall, I want you to take on how that would feel for you if all this came about. Take it on so that when it does come about, you can smile to yourself. Because what people don't realise is that the... The mind is a mixture of the body mind, the feelings, the senses of doing something, the loving something, as well as the thinking mind about you know what you want. And that's why I love this exercise. It's a combination. And we've gone through each of the layers 
of where you would need to make the changes. And that's what you're doing here. And I'm not saying this is going to change everything. But what if by listening to this, you can start to make real change? It might be slowly at first. But all of a sudden, you'll wake up one morning and you'll look back and you'll you'll have a little smile to yourself. And you'll be like, hmm, okay, something's changing. Something's shifting for the better. And I don't know whether that will be in a few days, a few weeks or a few months. It doesn't matter, does it? If it's doing the work for you, the heavy lifting for you, your unconscious mind is now like, oh, okay. And the beauty of this is you can come back and look at that wall and all you need to see is the colour of the post-it notes and maybe the odd one that's important for you to know right now. How amazing is that? Because this is the beauty of your unconscious mind. It knows how to do things. It knows when to tell you who to speak to or produce them in your world you don't have to control everything and the more you can hand over to this deeper part of mind the more you can find things shifting and changing naturally now one of the challenges that we all have is that we've got faulty learning very much like a laptop that's been going for a while it's suddenly finding it's got different um software at different versions and they're not always compatible are they well that's what your brain is a bit like it's got some incompatible software that's not going to support you on this journey so keeping hold of this wonderful feel good feeling i want you to turn around and see on the opposite wall a whole load of post-it notes you can't read them or maybe you can but they're on a horrible dirty color of post-it notes they're not what you want they, if anything they're going to get in the way of you achieving what you want and in a moment i'm going to get you to rip them off the wall put them in a bin or a fire pit or a shredder and you're going to get rid of them and really feel the sense of satisfaction with the whole movement of ripping them off the wall, putting them in the bin, putting them through the shredder, setting fire to them in your head safely and easily. Hmm. Because it's time to get rid of them. And once that wall is clear, you can then pick up the waste that you've created. And imagine just outside this room is a dustbin where people come along and clear it out for you on a regular basis. And you can tip it into there and know that it will be taken away. Just taken away and cleared out. And I want you to notice, can you feel a little sense of, hmm, that feels good. And if you don't, that's okay too. Turn back to your wall of everything that you want in the next few days, weeks or months. And notice what you notice about them. They've got bolder, bigger and brighter. Some of them will be really standing out for you now. So as you stand there and look at it, I want your unconscious mind to take and learn whatever it needs to take and learn that will help you on your journey over the coming days, weeks and months to realise that things are shifting and changing in a positive and empowering way, a safe and healing way, such that you can do this and it's only a few days, weeks that you may turn around and smile to yourself as you realise something has changed. What I love about this exercise is that you can come back any time and look at this wall and update those post-it notes. And always check that there's another, not some uh, other old ones that are no longer required because you'll do exactly the same to get rid of them. They're not working for you. Coming out of your strategy room. 
and beginning to get ready to come back into the present so that you can feel your feet and your fingers by wiggling your toes and your hands. Coming back into the now, knowing that on some level, something will have changed. And you can listen to this as often as you need to. Opening your eyes and feel different now. 